Hello everybody, and welcome to Wild Card Thursday. You may be wondering, why am I sitting here, in a chair, surrounded by kitchen appliances while it rains? And the answer is, I'm here to give you a tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to import a design based off of an image on your computer into Animal Crossing. But before we get started, there's a few things you're going to need. One, the image preferably in JPEG or PNG format. Two, you're going to need a Nintendo Switch Online subscription. If you don't have it, this probably isn't going to work. Three, you're going to need the Nintendo Switch Online app on your phone. So if you don't have that on your smartphone, now would be a good time to go ahead and grab it. So first things first, let me give you some ideas of what we're looking at as far as limitations for this goes. The designs that we're using here are actually being formatted as Animal Crossing New Leaf designs. What this means is that while they will be compatible with the new game, there are a few things you won't be able to do with them. You can make posters, rugs, carpets, other fun stuff, but you won't necessarily be able to make them into super complex outfits. Now with that being said, the first thing you're going to want to do after you've got all of your stuff together is visit acpatterns.com slash editor. And then we're going to upload an image. Now there's a lot of options here, but the one that you're going to look for is called convert. From here, you'll be given the option to upload an image file. We'll use Jello. Now you'll notice that this image is obviously cropped kind of funny. So what you'll want to do next is make sure that you only crop in the image data that you need. Keeping in mind, of course, that this is a square box and there are some limitations to the color palette. So if you're going to pick something, you don't want it to be the most complex image on Earth. Then hit next and view the file. Now, sometimes you're going to look at it and it's going to go, that doesn't look very good at all. Or you may even determine that the image you have just really doesn't quite fit the bill. But if you're happy with you, what you've got, go ahead and hit convert. Obviously, you're going to need to change this data to match. So you're going to want to type this in afterward, not before. The nice thing is that any image data you save here will remain saved into the game. Now, the next step you're going to want to push is to hit generate QR code. Once you do this, it'll show you a, the design and a QR code that you can scan. Now, you can scan this into Animal Crossing New Leaf, but if you feel like importing it into your new game, you simply open up the Nintendo Switch app, and you'll see on the app a list of game-specific services. For obvious reasons, you're going to pick Animal Crossing New Horizons. You'll wait for the Nook link to load, and then you'll tap on Designs. From there, hit Scan a QR Code. You'll scan the QR code with your smartphone, and after a moment, it'll actually show you the name of the design as well as the creator. Hit Save. Now, here's the thing. You can only do this for one design at a time. Now, you'll switch back to Animal Crossing the game. So you'll open up your phone from here and tap on where it says Custom Designs. Hit the plus button to select Download. Make sure that you're using a slot that you don't already want. It'll give you an option to connect to the internet. You'll agree. Usually, it won't take very long. Now, because you're already signed in to Nintendo Switch Online, it automatically syncs with your phone. All you have to do now is hit OK. In this case, we'll overwrite the blank box. And there it is. Now that you have your design, you can use it in any set of ways. For me, I think it's going to make an excellent mural. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll help you out as best as I can. Take care, everybody. Ciao for now.